Hi everyone, I am on here tonight because it is giveaway time. I finally have reached over a hundred subscribers, so I wanted to thank everybody. I will be doing two, four, six, six giveaways. I will be drawing six different names. Um, the first name drawn will get this little booklet I made. The second one, a goodie bag, and the next four will each receive a kit, which I will get into after the first two. So let me go ahead and sit down and show you what I've made. I have actually been crazy busy right now because school has started and I've got design teams and I signed up for two swaps, but I've been trying to um, throw something together to think it to thank everyone for watching me and subscribing to me. So I made this little booklet that was inspired by Jeannie's swap. She had a swap for a three by seven um, inch booklet and I had never done anything that small before, but I had fun making it. It was, it had to be three by seven and it had to have five pages, which folded as 10 or 20 sides. And it was actually, and it had to be a paper cover. So I just made one very similar to it, um, as far as that goes. But all the decorations are different. So let's go ahead and get in it, into it. I used um, some beautiful Tim Holtz paper. I really like this one with the green flower. I closed it with some pretty green seam binding. And since it is just paper, I went ahead and reinforced the spine with some Tim Holtz washi. Please excuse my nails. They look awful. Um, I got this color from Ipsy the other day and tried it. And <laughs> definitely it makes the inside of my nails look grody. And when I was making this, like anywhere the Fabri-Tac touched, it just like completely took the polish off. So yes, I will definitely have to take care of that. <laughs> But anyways, um, so the inside has this little coffee dyed glass seam bag that I inked around and one of these little images from Elizabeth at Elsie Bell's Bookshelves um, seed packet kits. And then behind it I have a little, um, I think this one is German flashcard. I really like the German ones because I like the, the look of like the little swirls in their words. Um, and it is it is left open here so you if you had something tiny or something you wanted to fold up and be secret you can slip it in there and then this is a pocket and I believe yeah behind it is open also so you can have one pocket here and then two secret little pockets and then I just added a butterfly with some eyelash trim underneath it and kind of left it hanging off the side of the page and these feel really nice in your hand and they'd easily fit you know like in your purse or if you wanted to grab them to go somewhere over here i have a little corner tuck with some stenciling and this is a journaling card again from elsie bell's bookshelf it's one of her um, butterfly ephemera packs and i just cut it down and rounded the corners so that it would fit in here nicely. Oh yeah, and all of the corners have been rounded on the pages and you know, it's all been inked and everything. Well, on the cover. And then over here, I have a little flap with some coffee dyed lined paper. And I just put some Tim Holtz washi right there. And I tried something new. Um, I made some book page washi, like washi tape. I've seen some people doing. So I did that and then I decoupaged this flower on it. I actually got these beautiful napkins from Aaliyah a while back and I love using them. This also came from the same napkin. So I just took the book page, you know, and tore it and inked it and folded it over the side of the page. This is avocado dyed paper. Oh, that must be from over there. And um, this is one of the Tim Holtz words. This is so giddy. We have some Tim Holtz vellum, some vintage graph paper, and here is a stamp. I actually got this set of stamps at an antique store, and then the paper's also been dyed on my little um, circle baking sheet. There's some more stenciling, and this is also a journaling card from Elsie at Bell's Bookshelf. It's one of her botanical ephemera kits. 
and it flips out for more journaling. And this is actually the cutoff of one of Lynn's background pages, Paper Life by Lynn. Um, her wildflower kit came with some beautiful background pages, and I like to use the cutoffs when I can because they're really pretty. And then over here we have this um, like crochet trim and ribbon pocket, some more stenciling, and then I added one of these little ephemera pieces. I can't remember where I got these because I got them a long time ago. I'm thinking maybe um, then and there, but don't quote me on that. But it says, what am I seeing, feeling, hearing, smelling, you know, and you can put the date. So I thought it was fun. You can, you can just journal on it in the back or you can actually fill it out. It just slips in there. And then um, this is one of those little mini booklets for, from Nick the Booksmith. And I don't think I glued it in right because as you can see, the pages all flip. But when it gets to this one, it doesn't like... I'm not bubbles there. But I mean, you can still write on it and it's still really cute, I think. So there's that. I made a whole bunch of them one night and some of them came out good and other ones not <laughs> as good. Here is some vintage music paper and I hole punched it with some... Um, painted whole reinforcers and then added some eyelash trim that I had gotten from Aaliyah. Here is some coffee dyed graph paper. Here's another one of those stamps. I used the, um, stamp, the same stamp set throughout. Here is a definition card and this one says earth and I added just this cute little white flower up here and it's actually a it's actually I have it right here. It's lace like this so I just cut the flower out and then the little cutoff from around the flower I just added on the trim and I like how it sticks out underneath the graph paper I think it's kind of cute and then this is some um, vintage lace I got at an antique store that has these really pretty purple flowers and then I use some washi tape that looks like tickets and this flips out and then some dictionary washi and the um, tags have printed coffee dyed paper on the back of them. And then on this side, um, this is food coloring dyed paper. There's the other side of that ticket washi and I just made a little collage. There's um, some crochet trim. This is a Tracy Fox um, little piece and another one of those little flowers. And I just inked this one up a little bit with distress ink so it wouldn't look like I used the same thing back to back. Well, I mean, I did, but I just tried to make it look a little different. And then on this page, I just have a little um, envelope paper clipped on. And behind it is this really pretty tag. And it's got printed coffee dyed lines on the back. It's more of that eyelash trim from Aaliyah that I love to use. And then I made a little envelope, and inside it just has some um, coffee dyed index cards. And that opens up for some writing, and then, I mean, you can tuck whatever you want in there. And that just goes right over the page. Sorry. Where's my paper clip? Okay, and then on this side, um, I did like I did in the little booklet for the swap. I had originally put some Tim Holtz paper in the center just to be, you know, like a flap, like these extras here. But with it only having the one hole punch, it slid. So I glued it down on the sides. But I think on the last one, I just glued the bottom. So it was like a big tuck. Um, but I forgot that, so I glued all the way around it. So it is kind of a sweet, a tight squeeze. But they've got these really pretty um, floral um, journal journal cards again from Elizabeth's shop at Elizabeth's bookshelf, and they just slide right in there. And it's the same with that one. You probably have to take the paper clip off and all that to pull it out. And then over here I have um, some of the Tim Holtz wallpaper. And I added this lace, this pretty yellow lace on the bottom, and I punched it with my Martha Stewart punch. 
And then I just added some scrap paper for journaling and one of these cute little tickets that I got from Selena. Thank you, Selena. And then I have a Tim Holtz phrase down here. And then this paper right here, um, I also got from Aaliyah. Thank you so much for all the stuff you sent me, Aaliyah. As you can see, I love using it. The eyelash trims, the papers, all of it. Stenciled, I used another one of those stamps from the set. This one's a cute little bee with a crown. A page tab. And then in the pocket, I just folded up a pink guest check that you can take out and write on. Or again, you can put whatever you want in there. And I like how this has the lines and the numbers, so you can make like a little list there if you wanted. Over here, I did some more decoupaging. I actually got this um, paper, I think it was a journal that I bought like almost two years ago. And she wrapped it in this really pretty tissue paper that had all of these flowers. And I, I've been using it for almost two years and there's still a ton. It was like a huge sheet like doubled up and I mean they're all right next to each other so you really get a bunch of them. Here's that, uh, the other side of that graph paper and I just used some Tim Holtz washi on it. The other side of that vintage paper. I have little eyelash trim hairs everywhere. Oh, this one is coming undone. Let me tighten it real quick. There we go. And then over here I have this little um, circle shaped um, a calendar and you could even circle circle the number day and put the year and then behind it I have a little teeny tiny file folder that you could stick something in or write in and then some more stenciling behind it and I have this really pretty lace I love it I think it's gorgeous and I just had a little bit of this um, this really pretty pink lace that I ran through it. It's like a bright peachy pink. And I think the two look really pretty together. And after I did a few of these, I only had like this much left of this pink stuff. But that was really pretty. And I made it into a belly band. And behind it, I put one of these like little journaling cards that I got from Heather. She sent these to me with a really pretty journal. And I thought they were super cute. And it just slides in. And then over here is that that um, circle dyed paper again. Another stamp. Some more vellum. Over here I made a fabric side pocket. Um, I actually got this fabric at a live, I believe. I think this one came from a live. And I just added um, some little lace up here. And I added this really pretty lace down here, and then I added some eyelash trim, a butterfly, and some some bling, and then a little Tim Holtz number at the top. And this is avocado dyed paper, and then inside of it, I just put um, a dyed index card. It just slides right in there for more journaling. And then over here, I've got two of Tracy Flex's little mini tags. And these ones just have words and like cheesecloth looking on them. And I tore up an image from one of Elizabeth's seed packets so that it would fit. And I added this really pretty lace here. And then this flips up and this flips down. So you have all of that to journal on. And then down here, I um, just used like a craft card butterfly and added a little, a little um, flatback pearl in like a rose gold color. I think it's really pretty. Then here's the other side of that lined paper with some more Tim Holtz washi. And then I have an uptuck made out of the same paper as this one on the bottom. I did that one on the top. And I had these like pre-made little torn booklets in a box and I just, um, I, think I might have to switch this one out. Anyways, I just stamped on it and stenciled it and inked it and decoupaged a little blue flower on it. And then it just has scraps and it was actually wider than what I need, what would fit in the pocket because I had made, you know, just a bunch of them up. So I had to try to tear the papers like 
after they were already sewn in. So they're, they're all kind of super wonky, but there's just all different kinds of, of papers in there you can journal in. And if you don't like it, you could always just take it out and tuck whatever you wanted in there. And then on the back, some more stenciling, a coffee dyed little mini glass scene that I got from Danny's shop, which I'm journals in more. Another one of those little tags from Tracy Fox, but this one has a butterfly on it. And I added um, some of this twine. And then on the front of the baggie, I put cheesecloth and another one of Tracy Fox's images. And this one has an ant. And that is the journal for the giveaway. So the first name drawn will get this little little mini journal booklet. And the second name drawn, oh well, I'm already at 15 minutes, so I should probably hurry. So if I go over 30, it will take me forever to upload. I might have to tie that better off camera. Okay, so for the second name drawn, I kind of just, I had actually forgot when I had set up to record about the goodie bag. I had everything ready but it. So I just kind of grabbed a whole bunch of random stuff. So you will for sure be getting this and then you might get some extra things that I decide to throw in before, before the drawing. I grabbed this little pink flower that has a really pretty pearl in it. I don't know if, there we go. Zooming in. Like I said, just random stuff I kind of threw together so that I could record. And I added some vintage playing cards. I just got these from Alive at Kelly Scrapper. Really like that one with the butterfly. And this one and this one would go really well with Elizabeth's like um, watercolor kits. And this beautiful one Aaliyah sent to me. I love it. Really hard to share one of these because I love waterfalls and butterflies. So that is really pretty. So you get one flower and six playing cards. Then I threw in this little embossed, um, this little embossed little manila folder. And some of them I emboss um, with the embossing sticking on the front side, and some of them on this side. Um, but this one has been embossed on this side, so you'd have to paper clip it in like this or glue it in like this, which actually works because then you can open it. Um, this little teeny mini envelope. And then some bling and blue and green. And then I also grabbed this little bag that has some some random dies in it you got you got um tickets i guess i'm kind of off camera a little bit tickets or tags i mean and butterflies and like little stamp shapes and um puzzles and that and most of these are all double-sided so you just have an assortment of all these little little different shaped and colored little pieces. I think there's like five butterflies in there and a whole bunch of other stuff. So you'll be getting that. Nothing wants to work while I'm on camera, of course. And then you'll get three of these definition cards, and these ones actually came from Aaliyah. She sent me some, so I thought I'd share a few. Two large, large Rolodex cards. Some tickets in green and blue. Some guest checks. You get three of the light pink and two of the darker pink. There's five in total. And these two cards also came from Aaliyah. I really like these. These are so cool. And these, um, this really cute recipe card, which is adorable, but she sent me like four or five, so I thought I would share one. And I also bought these from that live at Cali Scrapper the other night, so I added one of those in. And a 
um, paint chip that you could alter in a large gray like textured cardstock tag. So that is kind of what I just threw together in a hurry so that I could go ahead and get this recorded. Oh yeah, those are something else. I'll have to find a different bag. Those have something in them. And they'll be wrapped a whole lot nicer. And I just kind of threw it together so that I could get this recording going. So one is the booklet, two is the goodie bag that may have some more stuff in it by the time I send it out. And last but not least are these kits. I am offering up four kits from Elsie Bell's bookshelf. Um, I am on her design team and she has been amazing to me. She is a true friend and she is always there to talk or help me anytime that I need her. And I asked her if I could buy um, one of her kits so that I could do a giveaway with it and she said that was fine and I'm actually going to buy I think one, two, three and then one is a freebie right now. I think that's how I did it. One, two, three. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get into them. The first one is called Botanical Bounty. And I absolutely love, love, love this kit. This is probably my favorite out of them. So this will be the third name drawn. And it has these beautiful ferns and mushrooms and flowers. There's like pops of colors and greens and just really pretty. And you get six, six of these full pages. Isn't that gorgeous with all the little mushrooms and ferns and flowers? And the colors are super, super vibrant. There's this one. I just went ahead and printed these out so I could show you what you would be getting. There's this one. Because they really are beautiful. So I wanted to, to give someone the chance to win one of her beautiful kits to work with. I just love all the little mushrooms and the little swirls and greens. So you get six of the main pages and then you get a page with eight tags. And again you have these really pretty purple ones and some fern ones and some mushrooms and they're just gorgeous. And then you get two envelopes. And they're a really fun shape too. So these will be fun to play with. So this will be the third giveaway that I am offering. Again, first one booklet, second one goodie bag, third one will be this. Oh, I just realized I have seven minutes left. Oh, and right now, if you are interested on your own, this is 40% off right now. So instead of $2 for this kit, which is also, which is already an amazing deal, you can get it right now for a dollar twenty, and right now any kit that or anything you buy in her shop, you get a free kit with, and I will show you that in a minute. It is beautiful. So you can spend a dollar twenty getting this, and then you also get the other one on top of it. So two kits for a dollar twenty. I mean, you really can't beat that. And the fourth winner, if you get it, will get. Oh, they're out of order. The fourth, sorry, the fourth name drawn will get botanical music papers, and I believe there are five of these. Yes, five of them, and it is what it says. It is music paper with these beautiful botanical images on it. So this one you have the yellows and the pinks, and folded. I mean, look gorgeous folded in a journal. I'm going to have to pick up the time, sorry, because if I go over 30, I have the hardest time getting it to upload. This beautiful one, I mean, just look how vibrant the colors are. And then this one, you get this bright, bright blue. And this one would be really pretty shabby chic, too, with the pink and the white. 
And then this beautiful one with the blues and the pinks and the pale purple lights. I mean, they're just gorgeous. So this one right now is 40% off. So instead of 99 cents, it's 59 cents. You get all five sheets for 59 cents. So that is a Botanical Bounty, third name John, and Botanical Music Papers for the, for the fourth. And the fifth name John will get Among, among the Wild Flowers, and at 40% off, instead of the $2, which again is great, it is only $1.20. So for all three of these kits, you can get all three of these kits for $2.40. $2.99. For $2.99 you can get three kits plus that plus the freebies that I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and get into the wildflower one. And this is what I meant by like the watercolors. It's very watercolory yet vibrant and floral. And they have little quotes on them. And here's one with a similar image but they, they're coming down instead of around and it doesn't have the quotes. And then this one, you belong among the wild flowers. And this one, so they look similar, but they all are different. So you get four pages like that. And then you get two of these background pages. And they have the lines on them and they're faint enough in the background that you could journal on these. But then you still have the really pretty image here and on the side. So you get the four main ones and the two backgrounds. And then you get a sheet with four tags, a bingo, this really pretty floral, like this. It's like a like a letter with the flowers on it. And then this doily looking one. And then you also get a large envelope. So right now, if you wanted to go get this one, again that it's on sale for $1.20. And that will be the fifth name I draw. And for the sixth winner, you will get the freebie she has going right now. And they are stunning. They, there are five of them. Five or six. I think there's six, actually. Yeah, there are six of them. And if you buy anything in her shop, you get these for free. So, I mean, those ones I showed you, the music papers, were 59 cents. So, literally, for 59 cents, you could have two kits. And that's just insane. So it doesn't matter how much you spend, you will get these. And they are beautiful. And you can, you know, use them as a page like this. Or you can collage with them. You know, like tear pieces out and collage. But, I mean, they're just gorgeous. That one has some really pretty cloth that I like. And this one has all these beautiful butterflies. Well, I mean, they all have beautiful butterflies, but they all have, like, this one has frames and tickets. And here's this one with a really pretty purple flower, and then the big butterfly. And then over here with the really pretty greens and purples. And then last but not least, this one. So with any, anything you buy right now, you will get these six beautiful collage sheets. But if you um, sign up for my giveaway, you could also be the lucky winner to receive it. So I am giving away four digitals that I will purchase and um, I will purchase and have her send whoever wins the link to the kit. Or if you cannot print, just let me know and I will try to work something out and buy the print to ship so those are the four kits then you have the the goodie pack and then you have the little booklet so there will be six names drawn I hope um, you guys will enter and fingers crossed win something that you like thanks bye